good morning uh, one and all in uh, today session uh, we are going to discuss regarding uh, non concurrent uh, uh, system of problems especially uh, determination of positions resultant and magnitude let's take an example uh, regarding this find the magnitude direction and position of the resultant with respect to point a for the four system shown in figure find magnitude direction and position position of the resultant of the resultant with respect to point a point a shown in figure shown in figure Forty-five kilonewton. The inclination angle is thirty degree. Sixty kilonewton. The inclination angle is sixty degree. And fifty kilonewton. The inclination angle is forty-five degree. And here you are having couple, this couple of hundred kilonewton meter. The couple value is hundred kilonewton meter, and it's a square, two meter by two meter square, one meter, one meter. So this is the given problem. We have to determine magnitude. Direction and position with respect to point A. Here is given point A. Uh, the very first uh, step is to write the free body diagram. So first we are, we are having how many number of forces. Here we are having three inclined forces. There is no pure horizontal and vertical forces. All three forces are inclined and one coupled. Uh, so first write the free body diagram. Free body diagram. The free body diagram is given by here. You just represent all the inclined forces into purely horizontal and purely vertical forces. Forty-five kilonewton. Here you are having thirty degree. So you just resolve this inclined force into direction. And also the rule is we know that uh, the direction is arcing away. Hence I am representing both the forces away. And inclination angle is cos. Therefore, this value is 45 cos 30 and 45 sin 30. 45 cos 30, 45 sin 30. Next inclined force is this one, 60 kilonewton. And resolve this into direction, one with respect to horizontal and one with respect to vertical. And the inclination angle with respect to vertical is given as 60 degree. Hence, this value will become 60 cos 60, and vertical value will become 60 sin 60. So, always inclination angle is cos theta. Here, the other one is sin theta. Here also the same rule. The direction, both the forces are acting away. Hence, I am representing both horizontal as well as vertical with respect to joint away. The next inclined force is here. This is 50 kilonewton, and inclined with respect to horizontal, the angle of 45 degree. If you resolve in pure horizontal as well as vertical direction, the force is away because this inclined force is acting away with respect to joint. Hence, it will become 50 cos 45. The inclination angle is horizontal, hence horizontal is cos theta. 
and this is 50 sin 45 and you are having one more couple here so right as it is the couple value is 100 kilo newton meter is already a moment it's a couple and also to confuse uh, people they will give the value of uh, distance don't confuse because it's already a moment when you are computing moment you have to take directly this value don't consider this value when you are computing the result time you just consider this value when you are computing the moment as it is the value don't multiply with any distance because it's already a product of force into distance so this is the free body diagram so uh, square grid so 2 meter by 2 meter 2 meter by 2 meter square grid so it's a free body diagram next compute sigma fx the sigma fx value can be computed using sign convention all horizontal right side forces are acting as positive all horizontal left side forces are acting negative this is the sign convention we are adapting here to solve these kinds of problems when you are computing sigma fx it's a sum of all horizontal forces here we are having forces how many horizontal forces one two three in this system of free body diagram we are having only three number of horizontal forces the first force is acting left side the sign convention is negative therefore minus 50 cos 45 minus 50 cos 45 and this is acting right side that is positive plus 45 plus 45 sin 30 plus 45 sin 30 and this is also acting right side therefore plus plus 60 sin 60 plus 60 sin 60 do this summation then we are getting sigma fx value as how much 21.55 21.55 kilo newton so this is positive hence this is the thing acting right side so this is the sigma fx value next compute sigma fy so summation of vertical direction forces the general sign convention is all upward forces are positive and all downward forces are negative here we are having uh, how many number of vertical forces we are having one two three here we are having three vertical forces out of three vertical forces two are acting in downward direction and one force acting in upward direction therefore two negative forces one positive force it is first post negative forces 50 sin 45 50 sin 45 minus 45 cos 30 plus 60 cos 60 so this is minus because acting downward minus sin 50 sin 45 this is also acting downwards therefore minus 45 cos 30 this is acting upward plus 60 cos 60 so do this sum you are getting what is the value of sigma fy minus 25.17 minus 25.17 kilo newton vertical force negative implies that sigma fy summation of force acting in downward direction downward direction now the resultant the resultant resultant r is given by square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square resultant is given by both r equals r equals square root of sigma fx the value is 21.55 square plus minus 25.17 square so compare the r value r is the resultant how much 33.13 kN 33.13 kN so this is the r value resultant the next thing is resultant inclination the resultant inclination theta is given by tan inverse of magnitude of sigma fy divided by sigma fx so we are getting which is equal to tan inverse of magnitude of magnitude implies that if you are getting 
negative value we have to substitute positive value here we are assuming that our inclination angle is always positive and we measuring with respect to horizontal so 25.17 divided by 21.55 what is the value of theta 49.43 degree 49.43 43 degrees this is the theta find the representation so when we are representing it's a simple thing so sigma fx is positive and sigma fy is negative so this is sigma fx and this is sigma fy and resultant acts in between this third quadrant this is r value and theta is always measuring clockwise with respect to horizontal so we if we can substitute in value sigma fx is 21.55 kN sigma fy is 25.17 kN and r value is 33.13 kN and theta is 49.43 degree and the next thing is position we determined magnitude we determined direction position with respect to point a when we are computing position position the point given with respect to a so compute summation of moment with respect to a compute summation of moment with respect to a this is the point so now this is the a point with respect to this this 50 cos 45 rotates towards a in anti clockwise direction when you are computing moment please keep in your mind direction of force from minus as it is the direction of force turn towards the distance therefore minus minus 50 cos 45 the for horizontal force the perpendicular is vertical distance that is 2 meters into 2 And this 50 sine 45 moves in the same line of action, hence it is zero. And we are having next the clockwise couple. This is the clockwise couple. It's already a moment clockwise. Therefore, plus 100, plus 100. Next this one, 45 sine 30 with respect to this two meter turned towards A in clockwise direction. Therefore, plus plus 45, 45 sine 30. Multiplied by two for horizontal force, but vertical is the perpendicular two meters. Next, forty-five cos thirty is also rotating clockwise. Plus forty-five cos thirty multiplied by perpendicular distance for vertical force. Perpendicular is horizontal two meter. This one sixty cos thirty-five rotating anti-clockwise direction. Minus minus sixty cos thirty-five. Into two. This is the sixty cos thirty five rotating in anti clockwise direction with respect to A. The perpendicular distance is two meter, and sixty sine thirty five moves in the same line of action zero. So hence, what is the value of sigma moment of A? Fifty three point nine three kilonewton meter. Fifty three point nine three kilonewton meter. Meter clockwise. Now position. Position is the distance with respect to A. D equal magnitude of sigma m a by r. We know that sigma m a value that is fifty three point nine three. We know that r value that is thirty three point one three. So how much? One point six two meter. One point six two meters. So D equals one point six two meters with respect to a. This is the position. So, if we ask x-intercept and y-intercept, we know that the x-intercept is sigma m a by sigma f y. Compute the distance. Y-intercept is sigma m a by sigma f x. Compute the distance. This covers the entire problem. The thing is, first write the three-body diagram. Here is 35 degree. So vertical. So vertical is 60 cos 35. Horizontal is 60 sin 35. Similarly, here also resolve this. Write the three-body diagram. Compute sigma f x. Compute sigma f y, compute resultant, and compute resultant inclination. Finally, representation and also position with respect to the given point. If they have not given the specific point, assume a left corner of bottommost thing and compute the 
summation of moment and find the position that is g of the object thank you